What's up, guys? Ryan here again and doing another Think, Learn, and Be Vulnerable vlog. And today I want to talk about Law & Order SVU and the Olivia Benson speech and uh, what's it like in the real world. So I realize that Law & Order SVU is trying to be realistic and I give them a lot of credit for trying to stay on sort of the cutting edge of prevailing thought. And I realized that Olivia Benson has a job to do. So when she's talking to uh, victims of abuse, you know, survivors, um, oftentimes her advice is, you know, testify, let's get up on the stand and let's put this guy away because he did something terrible. And the show does a really good job of portraying like how hard that actually is. And, but we're also meant to sort of cheer for the survivors that step up and, um, you know, and testify against these people that did terrible things. Uh, and to the point to where I feel like I have like internalized that as my sort of default go-to advice if somebody has experienced something like this. You know, I'm, I'm very quick to be like, dude, you got to go to the police. You got to say what's up. You got to testify. You got to you gotta put these people away. Fuck them. They, they did something horrible to you. And then I thought about it and I was like, what if that happened to me? How would I feel? How would I react to it? It can be very difficult to get over something like this, to get over sexual abuse. Would I want to get up in front of the world and tell everyone, this is what happened to me? I am a victim. There easily could be a lot of shame there. You know, I'm a guy too, so. You know, there's a there's another layer of like, does this take away my manliness factor to it as well? I'm not saying my experience would be worse than than any woman's, but there's a lot that goes into it. You know, I allowed myself to become a victim. I put myself into that situation. You know, there's a lot of not just victim blaming, but self blame. Like I allowed this to happen. You know, I should have been more vigilant. I should have been paying attention more. Do I really want to bring that up again? Maybe I just want to move on with my life. Maybe I, I don't want to put this guy away. You know, maybe I don't want to go through the, the pressures of a trial. Maybe I just want to quietly move on. That's okay. You know, we got to kind of got to allow people to do that. Like it's their choice how they want to deal with their trauma. And I think we need to be a little more sensitive and let people know like, hey, I'm here, I support you, um, but I'm not gonna try to talk you into doing anything you don't wanna do. If you wanna go after him, go after him. I'll be right there with you. I'll be in court every day and I will give you a hug and tell you you did great. But if you don't and you just want to move on, fine. That is absolutely, totally valid. And it's not my responsibility to tell you anything. You know, really my job is just to support you if this has happened to you. And if this has happened to me, I'd like to think that you can respect my decisions when it comes to how I wanna deal with this trauma. And I'd like to think that you will as well, because I'm gonna try my best to do that with you, whoever's out there, you know? So I think learn to be vulnerable. Well, I think Olivia Benson is showing her bias in terms of like, it's her job to catch these guys and to put them away. And so there is some selfish motives there and when we're dealing with law enforcement, we need to realize that there are a lot of selfish motives there. They're human too, and they're in a position of power. 
perhaps their motives are not entirely uh, straightforward. Kind of proven that. What can we learn? Well, I think we need to learn how to be better allies and how to be more supportive and less judgmental you know, of survivors because they're just, it's literally in the word, survive. They're trying to survive. We should aid in their survival as much as we can and not try to go for retributive justice, no matter how justified you think it is, because that's not your job. That's the justice system's job and the legal system's job. It's not your job to catch this guy. It's not your job to make your friend or your loved one testify if they don't want to. If they want to pretend like this never happened, well, whether that's the right choice or not, it's their choice. So respect that. In terms of vulnerability, we may be in that spot. You may be in that spot one day. You can't say how you're going to react. You don't know. It hasn't happened to you yet. So look at yourself and realize that if you're pushing somebody to do something that they don't want to do, you're victimizing them too. Albeit in a lesser way, but you're still doing it. If you want to be truly supportive, you got to be truly supportive. <laughs> Whatever they decide, that's what they decide. And if it ever happens to you, God forbid, may it happen to you. But if it does, whatever decisions you decide to make, that's up to you. But you also need to realize, too, you've been through a traumatic experience. You got to deal with it somehow. And I hope that we can all respect the choices of survivors because they're just trying to survive. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.